fit, formidable, and fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. Recently I came across an interesting paper published in 2014 in the American Journal of Medicine that inspired me to do this video. The paper explored all-cause mortality rates in older adults based on fat mass and muscle mass. It involved 3,659 people in total, age 55 and above, men and women. The racial disparity was 84.6% white, 7.7% black, 2.3% Hispanic, and 5.4% other. They took into account personal histories as well. This includes smoking, both past and present habits, as well as diabetes, hypertension, and cancer. What they discovered was interesting, but likely of no shock. Those with the most muscle mass had a 30% lower risk of all-cause mortality compared to those with the least amount of muscle. Now, a 30% reduction is quite significant, and the all-cause mortality rate declined from a lower end of 2% to that 30% in the relation uh, to the amount of lean muscle an individual carried among the study groups. The level of muscle mass carried in the study group with the highest reduction in mortality rate was 7.6 kilograms per square meter in women and 10.8 kilograms per square meter in men. That equates to about 39 pounds of total lean muscle on the frame of a five foot woman and 80 pounds of total lean muscle in the frame of a six foot man. And do clue in there that's muscle tissue, not weight of bone, fat, other tissue, water, etc. Uh, just to put this into a visual perspective, the now infamous, thanks to Vegan Gains' call-out video, Vince Del Monte. Who claims to have added 40 pounds of muscle to his frame in this transformation. And according to his online stats, Vince is 6 feet tall. Now, the most muscular participants in the study have likely been lifting and active for the better parts of their lives to reach the levels of uh, lean tissue that they are at. So unlike Vince, no one is claiming in this paper that they added that in six months. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. The point is, it appears that the more muscle you have in your frame, the longer you may live. What's more, adding muscle tissue improves blood sugar control, sleep, and mental health. Strength training helps improve balance, slows age-related muscle loss, strengthens connective tissues, increases bone density, which can fight off osteoporosis and other problems, and it reduces the risk of injury and helps ease arthritis. Strength training also improves hormone health, which can steadily decline as we age. And that's just scratching the surface. Uh, so it's not just for looking pretty or eventually being the hottest senior in the geriatric home. <coughs> It can actually improve your quality of life and how long you get to enjoy that quality of life. Thus, I felt this was a very important video to do. Especially considering that 80% of people in the U.S. alone don't even get the fucking daily recommended amount of exercise according to the CDC. In conclusion, I urge everyone, men and women, to get lifting. Don't just do cardio. Not only will you improve your looks and in turn your confidence level, but you will ultimately improve most markers of your health, especially as you age. This doesn't suggest that you need to get as massive as a small fucking planet where you'd leave the Greek gods and goddesses, Myron, but it does mean you should work on improving your body composition if personal health and longevity interests you. And I'm also not suggesting steroid use for muscle growth. This is not a statement of bias coming from a natural. This is simply a statement of common sense. While steroids can improve the quality of life in medical situations requiring hormone therapies, going over the healthy range can come with negative health consequences, just as falling below healthy ranges can. Some side effects of anabolic steroid use include severe acne, oily skin and hair, hair loss, liver diseases, kidney disease, heart diseases, altered mood, irritability, increased aggression, depression, or suicidal tendencies. So eat well, exercise, get quality sleep, and stay off recreational non-medical hormone use for a better, happier, healthier, and longer lasting you. And that about wraps it up. If you have anything you'd like to add or discuss, um, do drop a comment below, and please like and share this video if you found it helpful, as well as subscribing to my channel if you have not already. I also want to extend a thank you to those who have been using my new Amazon affiliate link that I had mentioned in a recent video. I truly appreciate the support. 
And I will include my Amazon link in the description of this video below for others who wish to support me in this manner. Uh, if and when you need something on Amazon, please just shop via my link. Anyway, till next time, my friends.